الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول Allah 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Allahu Akbar Wa 
All praise belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We seek guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the devil, from the devil, from the evil. We seek refuge from the evil of our own deeds and we seek refuge from the evil of our own egos. Whosoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give guidance, there is none can lead him to astray. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads to astray, there is none can save him and guide him. I bear witness that there is no God in reality except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Jalla Jalla, the one and only to Odi and Oshi. And Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is a slave and the final messenger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, what would mean of all who you please? Fear Allah. Respect Allah. Remember Allah as if it is right to be respected, as if it is right to be feared, and as if it is right to be remembered. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, Always remember Allah and remembering Him enlighten your heart, enlighten your mind, enlighten your activities. And remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is Awful to all the time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fear Allah, respect Allah, and remember Allah, and have taqwa for your Lord, the Lord who created you, and He created Adam. Peace be upon Him. And from that own soul, He created. It's made Hawa, peace be upon her. And from those two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created many men and women. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Don't cut ties from your womb, and I dare you die, except that you die as a Muslim with Iman and in the state of Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when there is hardship, when there is challenges, and when there is tragedy, speak the truth. Stay fast in the truth. And speak the word that penetrates the idea, that states go to the issue. And doing so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised, inshallah, when we do something wrong, he will make that good for us, inshallah. As the hadith said, that when we create something, we invent something, that go against the sunnah, that go against the Quran, that is bidah, and the bidah is something that will eventually lead us and line us to the jannah, to the hellfire, the ultimate punishment. Indeed, the Quran is the best of the word, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the best of the guidance is the guidance of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Peace be upon him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make those among they've been guided and they've been accepted before us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created us and He created our enemy. And the enemy, it was the very first moment when the mankind was created. So inshallah, part of my khutbah today, I will talk about who is the most dangerous enemy of us as a human being and Muslim? 
but also what is the core purpose of our life and what is life. Mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he created Adam peace be upon him and he the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the first order that was given to Adam that oh Adam memorize this name as Allah was teaching those names after that even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invited and called all the angels and then Allah asked all those angels tell me what is the name of this and that stuff and the things the angels they replied oh Allah Alim God you are the one who knows we do not know that is the very first point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said go oh, Adam tell the name of this thing <laughs> then Adam peed back on him he was able to tell the name up to that point there was no hukum there was no fur for Adam to do any other ocean but you go back see why we are in this dunya what brought us here when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after that event calling all the angels after to that point, every single angels, they were bowing down and prostrating Adam as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wording. Except the one, namely Iblis, and he was one of the angels. But guess what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that you surely are a disbeliever. Up at that point, the human being, Adam was in the Jannah. And that Iblis, who is today the Shaitan, he proclaimed that he does not believe in human that the super saved. Up at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again give a direct order to Adam and the order was given to Adam Allah sallam. if you go back to surah al-Baqarah and verse number 35 it said waqula ya adam muslim anta wa jawzaka al-jannata waqula minha rabadan haithu shiftuma wa la taqruba hadhi shajarata Fatakuna mina zolimin. O Adam, stay in the Jannah. Enjoy your building, you and your wife. Eat whatever you want to eat, but do not approach near that tree. And if you do, you will be among the list wrongdoers. At that very moment, this Iblis, he came and he was making the conspiracy. He was taking the chance and he made Adam and his wife to do something that was prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear Muslim brother and sister in Islam, look at this verse and we take it from the Quran. And it will take a long time to explain what is the purpose of the Quran and how we can do take and balance in today's technology, in today's modern science. Quran is the book, is the script, it is the preserved tablet. It is the book Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said on the very second ayah. Zalika al kitab This is the kitab. This is the book for the mustaqeen. So this Quran was describing all the events. But how do we today take with the science, with the technology as a Muslim? There are many questions come from non-Muslims, the propagator and many other sources. Wallahi adim, you take a taste, you take a balance for the Quran. 
this Quran prescribed and described so many events that was unseen. And this Quran was revealed about 1400 years ago. But the Quran is describing something that happened prior, prior to that about three, four, five thousand years ago. Two example I will bring. This Quran talk about Surah Al-Maida. There's a verse which talk about Hammurabi. It's talk about a legislation. It's talk about a jurisprudence. After that time, during the time of the Babylon, it's talk about the thought, the wrongdoers, that Hammurabi, he used to say, life for life, a wrong for wrong, and a thief for thief. This Quran was explaining this 1400 years ago, and in about 19th century, this sign, this modern world, they came up to find out that verse, what on the Quran, from the Hammurabi, and they discovered. So my brother and sister in Islam, as a Muslim, we do have the preserved tablet that talks about the past, what the modern science is proving today. The second example I will bring, the Quran talks about Musa peace be upon him, and the Pharaoh. And we all know about the tragedy. And the most Moses, his army was changing. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved Musa salam. And the frown in the surah, it was given that I, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, say that I will give Pharaoh as the proof of that who are the disbelievers to the mankind after a long time later to that point. So Musa salam, thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, guess what? 19th century, the modern science, the modern technology, the archaeological society, they came to find the body of the Pharaoh and they say, this is the body of the Pharaoh. Go back to your message, the Quran, as a Muslim, we should be proud and we must be proud to follow this Quran. Let's go back to the point of saying our enemy. That enemy, when Adam was told that I'm going to send you to the dunya, then he was thinking, Ya Allah, I already made a mistake. Now you are sending the same devil, meaning the dunya, what I'm going to be doing. Allah said, Do not worry about it. I will give you that book, I will give you the tablet, I will give you that what will lead you to Jannah. The second point comes, my dear brother and sister in Islam, the life. Our life is nothing but combination of some moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set our life with the scale of time, with the time that measures our life. But surely we know that. Someday this time will come to an end. Surely it will happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kulli nafsin All souls must test the test of death. We know this. We experienced it. Our father, parent, grandparent, family member, cousins, friends. We know that death is so real. And what do we take from this death? We are too busy. I have to tell you that I'm so mourned. I'm so disheartened. But as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, when the death comes, say, This Quran is giving us what to do in a situation. My dear respected brother and sister from this community who just lost one of our beloved young brother. Brother Swai, Bukal Katani, he is the beloved son of our Sheikh Muhammad. And there's no time. There's no time who's gonna go first or who's gonna be following that or not. This brother was playing. 
and he died. So is there a time who's going to go first, the grandfather or father or the son? No. There is no time. As a Muslim, we must get the most benefit out of time. We have to my brother and sister. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sets up some standard for us to be utilizing the best manner. How? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he brings something, a do list and a do not do list. We have to understand what is the difference between doing something and Allah said, do not do something. Let's find out the difference. So there are huge, big leaps. But let's put our mind that we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do this and do not do this. My brother and sister, as a Muslim, we follow the Quran and what Quran tell us? Our Sunnah Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The best example, a young man approached, came to our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, Ya Rasulullah, give me some advice. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, take advantage of fighting before fighting happened to you. And then the young man said, Ya Rasulullah, what are those five things? I will brief what our Prophet said. Take advantage of your youth. Take advantage of your youth before you get older. Then he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, take advantage of your health before you get sick, or weak, or any other illness. Then he said, take advantage of your wealth. And take advantage of your time, the free time you have today. Don't procrastinate yourself. Don't wait for the last moment before you get too busy. And finally, take advantage of your life before the death comes to you, my brother and sister. Imagine if today is the day of your last day. This is a reminder for myself. What will happen? What will you take with yourself? Quran says, you will take bare hand, empty hand, and closed eye. Now you have bank balance. Should we write you some paychecks? Give you some certified money order? Surely not that will be happen. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the guidance that we understand what we needed as a Muslim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to rectify ourselves and help us to lead our life according to the Sunnah and the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to make our house as the house of full of Sunnah. This is a message for our sister. Oh sister, help your husband, your children to raise as the house of full Sunnah. Oh Allah, help our Muslim community to be the community of full of Sunnah and the Quranic message. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the guidance we surely seek our refuge with the Taba. Astaghfirullah Rabbi. Min kulli zambi wa tubu ilahi. La hawa la quwata illa billahi alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama salli ta'ala ala Ibrahim. Wa ala ala Ibrahim. My brother and sister, I want to recap what I was talking about. Imagine we have a 24-7 enemy that is on our neck from the paradise, from the Jannah. And today he is with us and he's so real. He is as real that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him the power as the devil promised that he will try to take us to the Jahannam. And Allah said, no. Once, who said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, inshallah, grant us the Jannah to the My brother and sister, life is short, very short. 
My father, my grandfather, many uncle, aunts, friends, they are gone. And surely you know that. We need to be prepared, we need to be ready. Death is real. It is so real. And how long time as a survivor, when you take our loved on to the grave here, we bury it. <coughs> 40 minutes, one hour, then we leave. We are too busy to the material. At the same time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, keep praying, ask forgiveness, and he is the one, Jalla Jalalu, he will forgive. He will, inshallah, lead us to the right way, even when we do something wrong, till we have the good intention. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of us. Allahumma min rabbana dhanamna anfusana, wa illam takfil lana, wa tarhamna lanakunamna min al-khasri. Allahumma inna nasta'inuka, wa nasta'gfiruka, wa numinu bayka, wa nata'akkalu alayka, wa nusni alayka al-khayr. وَنَشْكُرُكَ وَلَنَكْفُرُكَ وَنَخْلَعُ وَنَتْرُكُ مَا يَبْذُرُكَ اللَّهُمَّ إِيَّاكَ نَبُدُ وَلَكَ نُسَلِّ وَنَشْجُدُ وَإِلَيْكَ نَسَى وَنَحْفِدُ وَنَرْزِ رَحْمَاتَكَ وَنَكْشَ عَذَابَكَ إِنَّ عَذَابَكَ بِالْكُفَّرِ مُلْهِكَ اللَّهُمَّ أَحْدِينَ فِي مَنْ أَحْدَاءِ أَوْفِينَ فِي مَنْ أَوْفَاءِ وَتَعْلَنَ فِي مَنْ وَتَعْلَنَ رب ارحمهما كما ربيان السجيرا رب ارحمهما كما ربيان السجيرا وقل رب ارحمهما كما ربيان السجيرا سبحان ربك رب الزات عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين واقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حيا على الصلاة حيا على الفناء قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله Inshallah, pray like this is our last prayer. And in your prayer, our dear brother, make dua for Brother Swai, departed soul. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him the Jannatul Fadal. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the Jannatul Fadal to all our parents and grandparents and all the Muslims all over the world. Allah, what birth? الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نبود وإياك نستعين إهدينا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنمت عليهم قيد المكذوب عليهم ولا الدوالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فادى والذي أخرج المروى فزاله جساء أهوى سنقلك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر النفعات الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتذنبها الأسقى الذي يصل النار الكبرى ثم يموت فيها ولا يحيا الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمدا الله أكبر الله أكبر 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله يا الله سبحانه وتعالى bless you all and accept your prayer and thank you as you heard one of our young men, Sulhaib al-Khatami, left this life as we are going to leave. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you a long life that you may live and enjoy and be righteous. Remember him in your prayer, inshallah. And we have a request from a, a son of our beloved sister, M. Sami Hassan. She diagnosed with cancer. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify her. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to leave her. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, most gracious, most merciful, will take care of her, please, and be ta'ala. May Allah bless you all, reward you all, inshallah.
Thank you. 